Welcome to another DSLR tutorial focusing on taking photographs at night. Long exposure or time exposure is one of the oldest techniques taking pictures, especially at night. The good thing about that kind of photography is that you don't need the newest or best camera out there. You only need two things, a digital single lens reflex camera or any kind of camera where you can control shutter speed, aperture and ISO. The second thing is a tripod. You can take a simple and cheap tripod because you don't need to pan or anything you need to do when filming with a DSLR. We shot most pictures with the in 2008 released Nikon D90 and the 18 to 55 mm lens on a broken 5 year old tripod from Velben. Now you can start setting up your camera. The great thing about long exposure is that you will get a really high quality image. You can shoot almost everything at ISO 100 and not like in video mode at ISO 1600 or even higher. The most important thing is the shutter speed. Leave it long open and you can get some incredible shots. This photograph was taken at ISO 100, aperture f8 and a shutter speed of 10 seconds. That means that everything that happened in the time of 10 seconds in front of the lens was put in one single picture. That is also why it looks like different blurry layers. Make sure you mount the camera on the tripod that it won't move while pulling the trigger or your image will look like this. Time exposure can be a lot of fun because you can try different exposures and the same image can look totally different. Here are a few more examples. You should also try different techniques. A nice effect for example is the zooming in or out while the camera exposes. Of course you can do the same in daylight but the great thing about taking such a picture at night is the mix of sharpness in the center of the image and the blur at the edges. This is a nice way of creating action and movement. The viewer gets the feeling that something is happening. Great about long exposure photography is the combination of moving objects or light and the objects that are not moving, like buildings, trees or parked cars. That is what it makes so special and unique. We hope that you learned something, especially that you don't always need the best gear and that it is more about going out and taking some pictures than sitting at home and worrying about that you don't have the latest DSLR.